While the Tantalus Cluster is connected through the Driftgate network, allowing ships to traverse the space between star systems in a matter of seconds, communications between stars is still restricted by the speed of light. A message sent via radio or tight beam might take years if not decades of travel time, and take up an enormous amount of power to be visible at its destination. Therefore, while possible, practically all interstellar communications in Tantalus rely on data being transported in digital or physical formats by spacecraft travelling through the gates. As part of their normal operating procedure, the members of a Driftgate pair require a constant exchange of information to not only maintain proper alignment, but also update the current position of their pair system's celestial bodies, the list of ships requesting transit, and current allotted transit schedule, so that the receiving gate is able to properly catch and decelerate incoming ships. To satisfy this need for constant information transfer, every drift gate has a small contingent of courier craft which shuttle back and forth between a gate and its pair. Because drift gates already have ships dedicated to this task travelling daily to other systems, communiques and other messages destined to different star systems piggyback on gate couriers. Messages are sent via radio or tight beam to the relevant gate, where they are stored and marked for forwarding on the next available courier, where on arrival they will be uploaded to the receiving drift gate which will then forward them to their destination, or to another Driftgate, where the process repeats until the intended destination is reached. While Driftgates can be safely operated with as little as one daily courier trip each way, the sheer volume of data transfer requests drives the number up to dozens of daily trips each way through the gate lanes connecting highly populated systems such as the so-called Brackenroot Strand between Centrum and Rialtus. Beyond the waiting time for the next available courier, the motion of planets means that the transmission time from a planet to a gate for forwarding varies with time, with shorter times when the planet and gate are in conjunction than when they are in opposition to one another. This especially impacts the transit times of messages crossing multiple gate lanes to reach their destination systems, with potentially many multiple hours added to its travel time, depending on planetary alignments and courier availability. Messages are assigned different levels of priority depending on its sender, recipient and nature. Messages pertaining to the operation of drift gates themselves are always prioritised above everything else, followed by governmental, bureaucratic and naval messages required for the functioning of interstellar government. After this, messages are sorted depending on the sender's data package. Higher paying packages, usually bought by corporations or large institutions, are given priority, followed by the next lower package tier, all the way down to free public messages, which are allocated on a strictly first-come, first-served basis. To avoid public messages being repeatedly delayed onto the next courier indefinitely due to a lack of space, each courier flight has a fixed amount of space dedicated to carrying public messages, though even still it can take many hours if not days for a public message to make it into a courier flight. In cases where a message is deemed urgent and requires immediate transfer, gate traffic control might authorise the launch of a courier through single gate travel, arriving at a random point in the target system. The courier will then use its high power communications array to forward the message to the intended recipient, or to the next drift gate in the chain, towards which it will then slowly make its way so it can be serviced, refurbished, and brought back into normal use. In the Centrum Assembly, only the Prime Minister, local planetary governors, and high-ranking naval officials are entitled to order a message be transferred in this manner, the former liable to a posteriori judicial charge, and the latter liable to court-martial to determine if such an action was warranted. Thank you for watching. You can get The Sojourn through various distributors, all of which are accessible through www.thesojournaudiodrama.com. You can also get the series through Patreon, where you'll be able to access various bonus features, including our Visual Dictionary, Guinevere Cross Sections, and Anthology Shorts. Remember to join us on Discord, and get regular updates on all upcoming Sojourn releases. All the related links can be found below this video. Fair winds.